Meteorologist Angela Schilling joins us now with the dangers of lightning. Right, and lightning, of course, is something that you want to be very mindful of. Lightning itself is five times hotter than the surface of the sun, and the surface of the sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so times that by five, and you get 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you hear thunder, you definitely want to head indoors, and you want to avoid trees as well. That is not a good place to be under. So how does lightning form? So yesterday we talked about how thunderstorms form. Well, first you have to have a cloud and the warm air rises, it forms a cloud. And within the cloud, you have a lot of different particles. You have water droplets, you have ice, you have hail, sometimes you even have snow. And all those different particles are colliding and bouncing off of each other, and that creates a charge. And the positive charges go up to the top, the negative ones go down to the bottom. And then what happens from that is, of course, you get this connection. So you have a stepped leader that is going to go down from the negative charge to the surface and then you have what's called a streamer that goes up from the ground to the cloud and once those meet and they make a connection that's when you get a lightning flash so you have one going down from the cloud one going up and they meet and that's how you get the lightning to occur now when this happens when you do hear thunder the best thing to do is to seek shelter again you don't want to get underneath a tree and positive strikes are the most dangerous they can happen even all the way up into to the anvil. So when you hear thunder, best to head indoors. And it's a misnomer that they're attracted to metal. It's actually the tallest point. So you don't want to be all by yourself, you know, in the middle of nowhere or on a football field or something like that. The best thing to do is either get in a car or head into a building. Back to you.